get nine reserved ninjas for Ninja Gaiden 2. A secret room in the Marble Zone for Sonic the Hedgehog. A special look at the new games you might want on your Christmas list, bud. And some surprise endings for the Dracula Saga, Castlevania 2. All this and more on Game Pro. Yeah! Hi, everybody. I'm J.D. Roth. Yeah, and I'm Bryn Hans. What's Stop. happening, bud? Work it! Yeah, welcome to Game Pro! That's right, we've got a righteous amount of tips and tactics and new game card intros to run by you today. And it all comes from the number one source for video home and arcade games, Game Pro Magazine, so check it out. Yeah, check it out indeed. So, if you got the info, bud, I've got the desire. I think you should go kick it into some SWAT land. Yeah? All yeah. right, SWAT away! Secret weapons and tactics. Ah, ah, a little bit of gold. Thank you very much. So, it's almost time to go to school. You want to get through one more game of Gauntlet on your NES before the bell rings. Move quick. Soup up those suckers with this tip that'll make major improvements in the character lineup for the popular NES game. Use these passwords to add some speed and power to your elves, wizards, and warriors. To soup up the elf, enter H-P-E-Z-9-H-Z-O-I. To add some energy to the Valkyrie, enter H-P-E-Z-9-H-Z-I-Z. -Z. If you want the wizard to whiz through the game, type H-P-E-Z-9-H-Z-Z-I. Finally, if you want a supercharged warrior, enter H-P-E-Z-9-H-Z-Z-Z. <laughs> I hope he's not afraid of heights. For all you Ryu Hayabusa fans, here's a trick that'll get you nine reserve ninjas in Ninja Gaiden 2 for the NES. Ha! First, you gotta make it to stage four, level two. Now, move to your left, grab the one-up, and run back to the beginning part of the stage. Now climb up the ladder, then climb back down the ladder. Check it out, gamers. The one-up is back again. Grab it. Now keep this up and down stuff up until you have nine ninjas in reserve. Cool. Hi, I'm Rex Roberto from Fort Worth, Texas. I have a question for the people at GamePro. In the TurboGrafx-16 game, Dungeon Explorer, is there an easy way to make my character more powerful? All right, if it's power you want, dude, power you shall have. This question took its toll, but the game maniacs nailed it cold, so check it out. Yo, type in this password, D-E-B-D-E-D-E-B-D-A. Next, press run and button one at the same time. The screen will read password error, but dude, don't believe everything you read, okay? Finally, press button two and choose your character. See, the dude can walk through walls, and he's invincible! All right, bud, solid question. The game pro team is yours. Check it out. Ah! Okay, now if any of you other gamers want to hit the techies with a tough one, send a video of yourself. Get gutsy. Send it here to Game Pro. If we put you on TV, the tea is yours. <laughs> Check out the address at the end of the show, okay? Keep your thumbs at the controls, because we're coming back with Secret Rooms and Sonic the Hedgehog. Next on Game Pro! Gold is sweet, honey treat. Crunch it makes it fun to eat. That's why we all love our honey gold. See that shape? Here is one. See those get go much, much, much. We all love the taste of honey gold. Well, it should come as no surprise. Very attractive. Who am I, dude? Oh, uh, gee, I don't know. Maybe a uh, chipmunk on steroids or something? No, dude! I'm Sonic the Hedgehog! Oh, I, I should have guessed that one. 
Maybe it's the shades that threw me off. Uh, you take care now, okay? I'm going to SWAT World. Catch you later. Secret weapons and tactics. Uh, oh. What's lean mean and lets you know when to expect the coming of spring? Sonic the Groundhog. Yeah, bad joke. But there's nothing bad about this tip for Sonic the Hedgehog. That's the ultimate hit game cart for the Genesis game system. Check out this tip that'll give you a secret room in the Marble Zone. It all happens in Act 3 in the Marble Zone. Now, get to the spot where there are two spike platforms side by side. Get up on the right platform and push it to the right. This will expose a secret room. Get your super hedgehog hide into the secret room and look for the secret passageway that's on the right side. All right, welcome to your shortcut to level four. Let's check that out one more time. Okay, get to the spot where there are two spike platforms side by side. Now, get up on that right platform and push it to the right. This is gonna expose a secret room. All right, go into the secret room, look for the secret passageway that's on the right side, and you made it to level four. Whoa, the only way to surf. Hey, look at that. Just when you thought Pong was gone, huh? Well, here's a super password for the Game Boy Kart Gargoyles Quest. Use this code to set you up in the game's final town with the maximum of vials, lives, and weapons the game has to offer. Now check this out. Here's the password. N-P-A-N-R-R-X-Y. Hey, there you go. You got all the lives and vials and weapons you need. Go get them. Once again, the password is N-P-A-N-R-R-X-Y. Gamers, uh-oh, what's this? A video game cart that's not only fun, but dare I say the words, you might learn something. Oh, whoa. Dude, it's okay, really, you know? I mean, this game is called where in time is Carmen San Diego? It's for the NES, right? And cool. it's a totally happening detective story. Check it out, bud. Now, you computer hackers may already know the game from the original version, which can only be played through a computer disk drive. But for you gamers who don't do much time on the computer, the NES version is happening, bud. Here's the story. As a time sleuth for the Acme Detective Agency, you control the Chrono Skimmer 325i. That's the finest time machine money can buy. And this beamer will let you move through history at a push of a button as you sniff out clues to bag the bad guys. The game also comes complete with a new American desk encyclopedia, which you use to cross-reference historical clues you need to win. Encyclopedia? I bet you guys are saying bogus, right? Well, no way, dude. The book's easy to use and makes crime solving a whole lot more doable. You start off a game with details of the crime. Now you hop aboard the Chrono Skimmer and head back into history to start gathering the evidence you need to figure out who done it. You get to question witnesses and gather the facts. Just the facts, ma'am. That'll help you solve the mystery. But there is a catch, bud. Each time you question a witness or informant, you use up time. And time counts because each case has its own time limit, usually about 28 to 34 hours. Now keep in mind that you're not the only dude tripping through time. See, the bad guy you're chasing is also moving back and forth through history, trying to keep a solid one jump ahead of you. But once you've scoped out who your numero uno suspect is, you can issue an arrest warrant and close in on this most heinous villain. All right, B-Man, I've been playing this game on my computer for years. Let me tell you something. I really love this one, but uh, I'm kind of curious. How did the Game Lab brains rate this one? Well, okay, I'll help your curiosity, bud. Do it. Remember that we check them out for graphics, sound, challengeability, and fun factor. And to begin with, there's not a whole lot of animation in Carmen San Diego because, you know, the game just doesn't really require any. The scenes of the various times and places in history are really happening. You know, they kind of give you a real feeling for what things were like in any particular time. So, that got a three. The sound effects and music are nothing you really get excited about. You know, they're, they're, they're kind of okay. And this game, does get tough when it comes to tracking down the bad guys before the clock runs out. So if you want a challenge, bud, oh, you got it. But use the encyclopedia, okay, dude? 
Use it. You got to use it, all right? Absolutely. You got to save a lot of time there if you do it that way, because the Mondo important news is you can have a lot of fun with this game, and you can actually learn something while playing it, bud. Nice. Very nice indeed. It's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like that Bill and Ted thing, you know, except without the phone booth. That's what it kind of reminds me and of. And it's definitely not a bogus journey, man. It's not a bogus journey. Use that the Pedia. All right, all you gamers with Christmas getting dangerously close, we thought it might be a good idea to give you a preview of the game cards that are getting set to hit the stores. Now, some will make it before Christmas, and, well, a few may not. But if you're going to get your Christmas list ready, you're going to need to know the facts. And that's what we've got, the facts. So here's a new one for the SNES called Lemmings. Now, in this game, you got to help hordes of mindless creatures known as Lemmings, and they got to escape hostile environments in over 100 game levels. And while a typical lemming has the IQ of a football, you can teach them certain skills that'll help you to help them. For example, they can dig, build bridges, climb, float, block incoming tides of lemmings, or, well, if you're the cruel and heartless type, you can make them blow themselves up and use them as obstacles. Whoa, man, that's cold. Now this card has been breaking records in its personal computer version in England and has some of the hottest graphics to date for the SNES. <laughs> now here's one for the TurboGrafx-16 called Andre Panza Kickboxing. This new card for one or two players will have you jabbing, blocking, spin kicking your way to the championship match against kickboxing world triple champion Andre Panza. The game lets you choose from eight different sets of lightning fast moves and provides you with an opportunity to train in the gym to improve your skills before facing opponents. Huh, I could use that. If you're into martial arts cards, check this one out. Now, if you're a quarter killer in the arcades, you gotta know the hit arcade game Caveman Ninja. And if you've played Caveman Ninja in the arcades, you'll recognize the stars of that popular game, Joe and Mac. These two Neanderthal dudes now have their own game for the SNES, and if you liked it at the arcade, you are gonna love it when these lovable cartoon characters come to your house in a jungle adventure that can be summed up in one word, prehysterical. With super hot SNES graphics that'll hold up to the arcade game all day long, you and a bud can just race against each other to rescue the cave babe and win the ultimate ninja prize, a cave babe kiss. Here's one for the young and the hungry. It's MC Kids for the NES, and it stars MC Kid and Mickey D. No, 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 it's not about a couple of rappers. It's about trouble in McDonald land, dudes. Check it out. Seems the Hamburglar has heisted Ronald McDonald's bag of magic, and hey, Ronald without his magic is like a, a burger without fries. So it's up to Mickey D and MC Kid to run, duck, and throw their way through a series of scenes as they help Ronald get back his bag of tricks. Now, this may not be for the game pros out there, but if you're looking for a Christmas present for the young video game player, you should check out this Burger Buster. Here's a hot new sports card for the Genesis, and yo, check it out. The Pittsburgh Penguins win their Stanley Cup with their star, Mario Lemieux, and he's got his own hockey cart. Not bad, huh? Neither is this game. This card has tons of fast action and more statistics than any other sports video game ever made. If you like hockey, this is a definite stocking stuffer with real value. Here's another one for the Rugrats in the house. It's a Donald Duck. Now, he's everyone's favorite foul, and just like the other Disney Genesis projects, you can count on this game to have mind-boggling graphics. Finally, we have Chuck Rock, also for the Genesis system, and again, we are into caveman territory. You know, I think I spot a trend this Christmas. Now, Chuck Rock isn't your run-of-the-mill caveman. Chuck Rock is a rockin' and rollin' cave dude. He's bumming out because Gary Gritter's kidnapped his cave lady. Now, her name is the lovely Ophelia. This prehistoric rescue adventure covers 15 scenes of action with awesome sound effects, including our favorite one, the caveman Ooga Booga. Well, there you have it, gamers. Enough stocking stuffers to make a Christmas a gamer's winter wonderland. Hello, I'm Chris Kilgore. I'm from Jasper, Alabama. I just 
updated, uninvited, for the Nintendo system. I'm Jeff Ramirez from Palmdale, California. On Castle Illusion for the Sega Genesis, I scored a whopping 8,919,100 points. Hi, I'm Eric Egger. And I'm Jim Ladashevsky. And we finished Final Fantasy. We covered our men up to level 34, obtained the mass mute, and defeated Chaos. Oh, oh my. Hot score on the challenge board this week, bud. Your Game Pro Magazine freebies on the way. Ow! And remember, if you want to win, gotta send them in. Nasty basketball action with bad boy Bill Lambeer. Next! I'm Tornado Rex, and I love to Rex. Smash World Crash. Better listen to what I say. He's Tornado Rex, and there'll be nothing left. I know. Time for SWAT World again. Secret weapons and tactics. Hey there, how about a few passwords for one of everyone's favorite blood curdlers, Castlevania II for the NES. Now while you may think that you've seen it all when it comes to doing in the Drachman, there's a couple surprises here for you. This card has a couple of endings that only come out at night. Ooh. Whoa. Hey, what's up bud? Hey bud. Psych! To see the first surprise ending to Castlevania 2, bring up the password screen and enter O Y Z Y U Q A U R 1 2 S S M I A. Once again, that's O Y Z Y U Q A U R 1 2 S S M I A. Now, if you want to check out yet another surprise ending, enter C1DF026DL1KNSWJK. All right, once again, C1DF026DL1KNSWJK. Whoa, check this out. Cool. Now, don't say I never gave you anything, because I have the ultimate weapon for CyberCore on the T16 game system. Now, while this game normally lets you use three different weapons that work at one at a time, this tip will give you the ultimate weapon, a blend of the powers of the three individual weapons. <laughs> Check this one out. Find the metamorphosis capsules which appear when you blast certain enemies. Pick them up in this exact order. Red, blue, green, green, yellow and red. Once again, red, blue, green, green, yellow and red. Now let the enemies blast your ship until it returns to its normal state. The enemies think that you're on the run, but not a chance, dude. Now you've got the best of all three and that's the ultimate weapon. We are suckers for a good sports card. So the Game Lab Gonzos went airborne when this copy of Bill Ambeer Combat Basketball for the SNES bounced into this lab this week for a slam dunk. Yeah, but according to our gargantuan gamers, this cart may not be a slam dunk. Ooh, let's see. Check out basketball in the year 2030. Round Ball's number one bad boy, Bill Beer, has been forced to retire from the game because the league could no longer sanction his, well, shall we say, overly competitive style of play? Huh. But wait, Beer's back as the commissioner of basketball. And what's this? He looks exactly the same as he did in 1991. Give me a break. Well, if you're buying into this weird basketball fantasy trip so far, you might as well listen to the rest of this stuff. So, with Bad Bill in the driver's seat of the NBA, he immediately fires all the referees and eliminates the personal foul rule, leaving the pros to wear armor and compete for not only hoops, but for weapons, explosives, and cash, all of which are tossed into the game by the crowd. Wow, defensive play means taking the ball away from the opponent by punching out his lights or leveling them with a body block. So dudes, what's the big deal? Sounds like your average everyday playoff game to me. So, what did the game pros think about this smash and bash game pretending to be a sports cart? 
Well, the game uses an overhead perspective, so you don't get to see much in the way of character graphics. Pretty ho-hum stuff, if you ask us. The sound effects include a few grunts and crunches, but we heard a whole lot better on other SNES games. And we got a disc to challenge. Once you get the hang of the play, it all becomes pretty easy. While the game's a lot of fun at first, we think a sports game ought to be a sports game. Maybe Bill A. Beer ought to check out a day job as a wrestling dude because this basketball game is no basketball game. So, B-Man, I, uh, I get the idea. I know what you thought of this one. Huh, a real sleeper. We've got a hot one for Battle Royale, so stay with the program on Game Pro. The game, G-Lock. The system, Game Gear. Choose you. Hill, Pennsylvania, and I have a great tip here for the game called Battle Royal for the TurboGrafx-16 system. Now, this is very useful to get your fighter back into the ring after he's been thrown out. All you have to do is press button 1, up, down, left, and right. Press button 2, up, down, left, and right. And then press button 2 again, and your fighter should be back into the ring in no time. Way to go, bro. The game pro tee is all yours. Hey, hey, well, that about closes things up for today. But I'll be looking for you next week with some super NES tips and a whole lot more freebies. So remember, keep your questions and your tips rolling in. So you don't forget it. Take one more look at our address. Game Pro, P.O. Box 1678, Venice, California, 90291. Yeah. Okay, JD and I will be here next week on Game Pro. So peace. Later. <laughs>